Welcome back. Still on taking the random question from our Facebook page. This one is from Blessing Shego and he wants to figure out the values for x and y in this equation. That is a simultaneous equation question. So we have the equations as 5x plus 4y equal to 21 and then 2x equal to 3 minus y. And we want to find the value of x and y, the value of x and y in this equation. Now, to be able to solve an equation like this, to be able to find the values, we have two ways of doing it. Either you use the substitution method or you use the, what we call the elimination method. Okay, now for simplicity's sake, let me stick to one of the methods and let's use that to find the solution if you know the other one you can also use it you can also try and after that you compare the answers okay to figure out whether it's correct or not now let's proceed we are sticking to the substitution method and what the substitution method says is that you can take any variables from any of the equations and you make that variable the subject of that given equation after that then you put the results in the other equation okay let's solve it you understand so taking 5x plus 4y equal to 21 as equation 1 and then we have 2x equal to 3 minus y let's label that as equation 2 okay so we have two equations so we can make a variable from any of the equations the subject so let's take it as I want to make x the subject of the second equation. Mm -hmm. So from equation 2, which is 2x equal to 3 minus y, I want to make s the subject. Okay, that is, I want x to stand on its own without being multiplied or divided by any number. Mm -hmm. To make this the subject, since the 2 is multiplying the x, what you are going to do is, in order to take off the 2, it is multiplying the x, so you divide. And whatever you do to the right-hand side, you do the same thing to the left-hand side, because it is in an equation, okay? So when I do, when I divide this expression here by 2, I have to also divide the one at this side also by what? The same number, 2. So to take off this 2, I divide it by 2, and I do the same thing to this side, okay? Good. So this 2 divided by 2 will be left with 1, and 1 multiplying x is what? x. So I have my x here, remaining with my 3 minus y, all divided by 2. Now, in order not to confuse you, let me label it as equation 3. Right. So I have equation 1, 2, and 3. So I'm going to put this equation 3 into equation what? 1, okay? Equation 3 into equation 1. So putting equation 3 into equation 1. That means wherever I will see x in this equation, I will write what? 3 minus y all divided by 2. So let's then write. I have 5 multiplying x. And x is supposed to be what? 3 minus y all divided by 2. So into bracket, 3 minus y all divided by 2. Then plus 4y equal to 21. Now, this is the equation we have. So, in order to proceed, this has now been left in a fraction form. You see, we have the denominator here. So, you have to make sure that you take off the denominator first. Mm -hmm. This is not having any denominator. This is not having any denominator. But this one is having a denominator. So, you have to take off the denominator. And by doing that, you have to find the LCM of the equation. This, since this one is not having any denominator, we assume that it is divided by 1. 
and then this one two is not having any denominator so we assume that it is divided by one okay so you find the lcm of two one and then one mm. it is assumed that this one is over one this one is over one it is assumed mathematically okay so to find the lcm of two one and one the lowest common multiple for two one and one is what it is two okay so after getting the lcm now you multiply the lcm by each term in the equation because there is an equation question so after getting the lcm multiply the lcm by each term in the equation so this is one term in the equation this is another term and then this is another term so we are going to multiply the lcm which is two by each term in the equation let's do that so we have two multiplying the first term which is five into bracket three minus y all over two plus two multiplying four y equal to two multiplying 21 okay let me write it bigger for you and leave a space here okay so after that now we can do cancellations. This can take off this. So you see the 2 is off. Mm -hmm. Now we have 5 multiplying 3 minus y plus 2 multiplying 4y equal to 2 multiplying 21. Okay. So 5 multiplying 3 gives you what? 15. We are expanding the brackets. And then 5 multiplying minus y will give you what? Minus 5y plus 2 multiplying 4y gives you what? 8y equal to 2 multiplying 21 gives you what? 42. Right. Now that we are done, you can group like terms. Okay. When we say we are grouping like terms, we mean we are writing those that are having similar, those that are having common identities at one side and the other one to the other side separated by either the equation or the inequality sign okay so let's take it as we are maintaining those having y being multiplied by them at one side and then sending the other ones to the other side mm -hmm. okay so we have minus 5 and then minus minus 5y plus 8y here equal to we have 42 and we are sending this to the other side because that is the constant number here. So 15. It is positive. It comes here, it becomes what? Negative. Right? Good. Minus 5y plus 8y gives you what? 3y. So we have 3y <coughs> equal to 42 minus 15 gives you what? We have 27, okay? So, 3y equal to 27. We want y. We don't want 3y, okay? So, since the 3 is multiplying the y, you divide this expression by what? 3, to take off the 3. And what you do for the left-hand side, you should do the same thing for the right-hand side, okay? So, this side divided by 3, you do the same thing to this side, divided by 3. Now, this 3 will take off, because 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 1 multiplied y gives you what? y equal to 27 divided by 3 gives you what? 9. So, we have y equal to 9. Now, after getting your value y equal to 9, you can put it into any of these three equations, okay? to get the x now since we have already make x the subject let's take this one and then write and then put in our y to be equal to 9 so from equation 3 which is x is equal to 3 minus what y so we have 3 minus in place of y what will we write 9. So we have 9 all divided by 2. Now 3 minus y, 3 minus 9 gives you what? 
negative 6 all divided by what? 2 and then that one gives you negative 3 so you have the value of x to be what? negative 3 and the value of y to be what? negative sorry y to be what? 9 so hence x is equal to negative 3 and then y is equal to 9. So how do we see? Now we've been able to find the value of x and y, but how can we see that the answer that we've had here is the correct answer? So you want to verify as to whether the answer is correct or not, eh? Just put the values into any of the equation to see whether you can get the answer given to you in the question. Let's try that one. Let me clean this side and let's try and see. After solving everything, we got x to be equal to negative 3 and y to be equal to 9. Mm -hmm. So let's try to see whether the answer that we're going to get is correct or not. Judge, let's come here. Let's take the first equation. From the question, it is 5x plus 4y. And we are saying it is equal to 21. Now, in mathematics, when an equation is equation question is given like this, we mean that what is at the left-hand side is the same as what is at the right-hand side. Okay, so let's substitute the x equal to th uh, negative 3, y equal to 9 into this equation. So wherever we see x, we will write what? Negative 3. Wherever we see y, we write what? 9. Now equal to 21. 5 multiplied minus 3 is what? Minus 15. Plus 4 multiplied 9 is what? 36 equal to 21. So minus 15 plus 36 gives you what? 21. Then we have 21 here. So this proves that the answer that we got previously, that x is equal to negative 3 and y is equal to 9, is correct. Let's don't judge very fast. Let's try the second equation too and see. The second equation. That is this one, okay? It says 2x equal to 3 minus y. So wherever we see x, we will write what? Negative 3. So negative 3 here yeah? equal to 3 minus y is what? 9. Okay. So 2 multiplying negative 3 will give you what? Negative 6 equal to 3, you subtract 9, you get what? Negative 6. So you see the left-hand side and the right-hand side is, they are odd, equal. So this proves that the answer that we got for the equation 5x plus 4y minus 21 and 2x equal to 3 minus y is correct. The answers are what? Minus 3 for x and then 9 for y. So anytime you solve a simultaneous equation question, you can still prove it yourself. You can verify yourself to see whether the answer is correct or not, even before you send your questions to the teacher to mark or when it is examination. You can verify it yourself. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button so that you don't miss any new videos. Thanks for watching.